once you've made the air injector assembly, you'll still need a hole in the top of the turbine housing to let the air into the discs. Place the turbine housing on one of the end plates, fit the air injector assembly, and then draw around the area that requires to be cut out. Use the lines that you previously marked on the air injector as a guide. I'm going to make this cut with the uh, Dremel or skill saw with a metal abrasive blade. It's uh, got diamond dust or something like that on it. Lasts absolutely forever if you're cutting acrylic. Um, when you make the cuts, these two cuts can be made absolutely straight vertically. But when you're making these cuts, you have to remember to cut at an angle to allow for the direction of the airflow into the disc pack. Once you've made the cut, you can snap the piece out. We can see that these edges are straight, the other two edges are beveled to allow for the air inflow. Now we can see the finished item with the air hole cut in the correct place to allow the air to pass out of the air injector into the disc pack. Now I'm going to glue the air injection assembly to the turbine housing. I'm using a UV setting acrylic glue, but you can use any type, this is quite expensive. One thing to note is only apply glue from here to here because you don't want to glue the air injection assembly to either of the outside plates. You just want to glue it to the turbine housing. Obviously we're going to want some sort of handle to turn the air injector. Now you can use, if you have available, something like that, that's a commercially available handle. Um, these aren't particularly cheap. What you can do is make your own handle from uh, just the same bar that we made the stanchions out of. Cut a flat. You don't even need to actually, right? You don't even need to cut a flat. Um, and then put it in the uh, Keats angle plate in the drill press, drill it five millimeters and then tap it six millimeters to take this and then it'll simply go in there and use a nut to obviously to lock, effectively a lock nut to lock it onto the air injector. Okay, here's the finally finished lever. This will allow us to turn the air injector so that we can reverse the direction of the discs. That completes this series of videos. All that remains is for us to run this sucker! Before we start, 
make sure that all the holes in the discs are lined up and of course eye protection at all times Turbine is of course reversible. 